I seen that video and I'm like, no way. Like, really? Like, how did he get let go so soon? Like, and then, so I watched the entire video and immediately, man, I'm like, dude, that freaking sucks, man. I mean, to be honest, man, it pissed me off because it's like, really? Like, you know, like <sighs> the, the, these big carriers, man, they honestly just don't care, right? They don't care about you, man. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get paid. Oh, man. I love my coffee in the mornings, man. It's good. At this point in time, if you already watched my other video, you already know that I'm making a lot of money compared to what I was in my previous two opportunities, which was the Big Orange Company and a owner operator that I work for. So knowing the kind of person I am, man, I always want to extend my hand out to somebody. The very first thing I did was I extended my hand out to the students at that orange company I work with that they were part of the training with me. That was the first thing I did. I thought about them and I, I reached out to them to let them know. The only option available was to team drive with me. And so I didn't, I mean, to be honest, I, I didn't have to do this because I could have just been like, well, later, you know, like I'm making good money. And then the, I, I, we have a discord. So I constantly can hear them like they're texting there. They're complaining about the orange company. They're breaking down constantly. They're not making in the miles. And so some of them had left already. They were the first ones that I reached out to because again, I really cared about them and I wanted them to get uh, the opportunity that I had as well. But the only thing was that they had a team drive with me for the time being until the company actually got two more vehicles. And um, a lot of them hate the idea of team driving. So again, I didn't have to do this, but I was actually willing to team drive with somebody because I wanted to help them out first of all. And then eventually a couple months down the road, they were able to get their own truck when the company got more trucks. So with that being said, none of them took my uh, my offer. And so it's all good, you know? Around the same time, I don't know if you remember, started firing a couple of people uh, for their electronic policy thing that they have that they don't want you to interact with any uh, any uh, electronics whatsoever, whether it's a cell phone mounted on the uh, on the windshield or whether it's a, a GoPro strapped to your head, man. Even that is something that doesn't allow. And so two YouTubers got fired for that reason. I think you guys know who I'm talking about at this point in time, right? The very first one that got let go right away was Mr. Bobby Reach. Mr. Bobby Reach got let go. And I remember I was doing my laundry at a gas station and I seen that video and I'm like, no way, like, really? like. How did he get let go so soon? Like, and then, so I watched the entire video and immediately, man, I'm like, dude, that freaking sucks, man. I mean, to be honest, man, it pissed me off. Cause it's like, really? Like, you know, like <sighs> the, the, these big carriers, man, they honestly just don't care, right? They don't care about you, man. At the end of the day, I think Bobby Reach was doing them a good service because it's free marketing for them, right? And, and if you know who Bobby Reach is, you know that he has a good following now ever since, uh, you know, he started working at, uh, at that big orange company. And so he's he's had a good following and many people were actually considering that orange company as an option. And I'm pretty sure they still are. But I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't see it being a bad thing, especially if you're not holding a device in your hand, you know? And so if you have a GoPro stuck in your head and all you're doing is just talking, kind of like what I'm doing now, what's the big deal, man? What is the big deal? So I'm just glad I got out of that place just in time because right after that, you know, not too long after, that's when Bobby Reach got let go. And so immediately my instinct, my reaction was to reach out to him because I felt bad, you know? I feel bad that he got let go and this guy, his energy level is very up there and he's always optimistic about everything. And so I decided to hit him up, you know, and I, I sent him an email first because he left his email on that video he made. He never got back to me. 
And then I think uh, Tiki actually did a, a video in regards to like a reaction video in regards to Bobby Breach getting let go. And then uh, I, 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 sh I shot him a message. I said, hey man, uh, let, let your boy know that I, I hit him up on his email. I'm trying to reach out to him in regards to uh, in regards to like a business opportunity. Like tell him to hit me up. I left my phone number on there to call me. And so he texted me, he, he commented back on my actual comment. And he said, thanks for the comment. You know, like, uh, I'll definitely let him know. And, and then he, I think he's, uh, he knows who I was. Cause I, I, I think he's watched a couple of my videos. So he knows I wasn't just going to scam him or do something that was not going to be right. You know? So he, he knew that I was serious. They know each other. They have, they have each other's phone number. So I think he texted him or something and let Bobby reach know. So I think it was the next day when I got a call from Bobby Reach. Uh, he actually called me from like a like a Google number, you know, because he doesn't want he didn't know what he was who he was calling, so he wanted to make sure that it's not a scam or or somebody just messing with him, especially because he was getting a lot of trolls messing with him on on YouTube. So, you know, <clears throat> when he called me, you know, we just started talking, and I let him know who I was. I think roughly around the same time we both started making videos but i was in school when i started making videos and he was in the recruiting process with that orange company and so roughly around the same time we started making videos and i remember i commented on one of his videos about him uh talking to a recruiter on the phone a recorded line and um you know so th that's how he remembered me because of that comment i left on there and so anyway so we we clicked right away man i, I told him what i was up to and how I left that company as well. Um, and how I had seen this video about him being let go and being fired. And it was very unfair for the reasons they gave him. And so I told him, look, man, the only option Say I have. command. Whoops. Let me examine that real quick. <clears throat> so I told him, look, man, the only thing I can offer you right now is if you want to team drive with me, that's the only option because the three vehicles they had, they were booked. I, you know, I'm one of the drivers. So if you want, dude, uh, I told him, if you want Bobby Reach, we can te team drive together. And that's when I told him that the pay was $2,500 as a solo driver and 3000 as a team driver weekly. So, you know, he, he, he told me straight out that it sounded like a very, very good deal. And so he told me that he was going to consider that as an option. Long story short, man, that is the guy that I referred to here. Let me finish telling you guys a story because at, at one point in time, I thought, I thought that he wasn't going to work here because he made another video how he went to orientation to another place. And then he just never told me anything in regards to like, hey, he just, I remember him texting me saying like, hey, uh, I'm still going to consider your option, you know, uh, something along those lines or something like that. But I saw one of the videos that he made that he was going to orientation to another place up until not too long ago. He got sent back home already because of the same situation. Then they realized when they pulled his motor vehicle report that he had a, a, a company policy violation for what he did. And uh, because of that orange company. And so even that company, they, they didn't want to hire him for that, you know. So, so I was like, wow, that freaking sucks, man. So... In my mind, I'm thinking like, well, I wonder what he's up to now. Like, uh, and then he finally texts me not too long after he made the, the first video where he, he said that he wasn't basically going to get hired with that company. He texts me asking me if the, op the offer was still available for him. And at that point in time, I was already referring my, my wife's cousin. And so he was going to team drive with me now. So in, in that moment, I told him, no, like, look, that I actually hired, you know, they hired somebody else because I thought you were going somewhere else. And so at this point in time, I'm not too sure if there's anything else available. I decided to, I told him like, let me talk to the owner. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to let him know what's going on. And just to find out if there's, to see if there's anything um, available for you, man. And so luckily, man, and I'm a, I'm a big believer when it, when, when, when it comes to like things happen for a reason, right? The first time I talked to the owner about Bobby Reach and, you know, bring him on board. The owner was like, yeah, like, I think that's a good idea. I don't care about you guys making videos. I'm pro that I'm that that actually benefits my company. So if you guys want to, as long as it's not affecting your, uh, 
you know, your, your work and, and you're working when you're supposed to be working. That's all that matters to me. And at the same time, it's good uh, publicity for his company. It's good advertising, good marketing, you know, because, you know, Bobby Reach has a good following now, almost 10,000 followers. And, you know, and then so, so you get the point, you know. And so I, I let the owner know again, like, hey, man, you know, he's he's letting me know again that he's he's wondering if the, the position's available. Luckily, man, it was it was just meant to happen. There was actually a, a truck that became available. And so he, the owner told me straight out, tell him yes. And if he wants to, we can start the onboarding processing ASAP and uh, tell him that, yeah, in regards to the videos, all that, I don't really care about any of that. You guys can, he's pro pro video. So man, that's all I gotta say. I'm very happy too, because of that. And so I hit up Bobby Reach. I called him on the phone again and I told him straight up what was going on and he was, you know, happy about it. So, you know, that's just the way I am. I like to help out people regardless. I try helping out the people that went to school with me. None of them took my word for it. I helped out my my wife's uh, second cousin and he's actually going to join us pretty soon. And then at the same time, I, I reached out to Bobby Reach. And now I think within a week, maybe or two at most, he should start working for this company as well. And so he's going to be a solo driver for now. But here's the cool thing, man. I was already considering the option too, because not too long after that, Tiki got let go as well. And so I was already considering letting T Tiki know about it because... I'll, you know, like I'll, it's they gotta let go for the same reason, and so I told Bobby Reach, like I asked him, like, "Hey, what is Tiki doing now? Because he gotta let go too." He said that he's currently also actively looking for another job, and that at this point in time he hasn't found anything either. And so I told Bobby Reach, I'm like, "Bro, like, why don't you guys team drive together?" And so I think he was already thinking about that because he didn't even think about it twice. He didn't hesitate. He said, "Yeah, like." That's something that he would like to do. Team drive with Bobby, I mean with Tiki. And that's gonna be pretty cool, man. If they actually both come on board and they start team driving, that's gonna be fire, man. That's gonna be some good content. And I told that to Bobby Reach, man. I'm I'm probably really excited to see more of their footage and their videos than I am to see mine, you know? Uh, because they make some really, really good content, man. That's the second guy that is that I refer to the company and is currently in the onboarding process and hopefully He's going to start working pretty, pretty soon. So with that being said, man, like I said, the owners are helping me. I want to reach back down and help somebody out. So if in the near future, there's more trucks available, which the, the, the owner told me within three, three months, possibly they're going to get two more trucks. I'm going to let you guys know right away because I want to help somebody else out. And, you know, the the... The owner of the company is very happy with me, you know, because I'm out here hustling for them. And re let me remind you, I'm only salary. So, you know, I get paid what I get paid regardless of what I do. So I'm trying to help them out. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to say this right now. The company is looking for one more driver that can operate a manual transmission that has no restrictions in their license like I did. Um, because there is one more truck that uh, one of the owners is driving and... Uh, my goal is to get him out of that truck so that, you know, both of the owners can just have more time in their hands and grow the company together, man. That's what I want to do for them, man, because I'm very happy where I'm at. I'm happy with the pay and I'm trying to help the owners grow their business as much as they can. Um, and so I know that they can do that faster by not having to be on a truck working. If they can be out in the office brainstorming and figuring out what to do next, it's going to help them out a lot. And, and again, that's just the way I am. I like to help out people so shout out to Bobby Reach because uh, he's a good guy man he's a very good guy and uh, hopefully he can join us you know in this company soon and uh, if it is if he does it's gonna be fire man so shout out to Bobby Reach shout out to uh, Tiki and I think there's other uh, other employees and other companies getting let go for the same reasons man which for me is ridiculous man if that's the case hit me up man my name is Abdiel. You know, if you're another YouTuber out there, man, making content for yourself, you got to let go, man. Hit me up, man. I'm not saying I have something for you guys right now, but I, at least I can consider you guys as an option in the near future. So there you go, man. That's the point of this video was to let you guys know that I currently reached out to Bobby Reach and he's about to get hired, uh, start working with us pretty soon. 
So props to him for taking my word for it. And uh, all I can say is, man, let's make that money. Let's make that paper, man. You know, we're both rookies in the game. We're both rookies, rookies in the YouTube uh, channel. But, you know, it's all about helping each other, man. So anyways, if you like this video, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification icon and smash that like button. Smash that like button, man. It definitely is gonna help me with the algorithm of this channel and it's gonna help uh, YouTube put me in front of other people as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Have a good one. Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please, I'm trying to get paid. Not today, not today.